This is our latest project. That appears to be a horse trailer. Looks like a high wind hit or something. Actually, it's a horse trailer that we're going to convert into a tile fittings trailer. Currently, we've been using our pickups to transport the tile fittings to the field. And what happens is you end up with a whole bed full of a mixed up pile of mess. And there's not enough room for all the tools and everything else. So we took this horse trailer that's been sitting around here for years. And we decided we're going to make a fittings trailer out of it. Now what we've done is we've cut the top and everything off. As seen here, there's the top. Looks like a boat laying there. Top was in good shape. The front was rusted off at the bottom. And it was fairly thick. There's the sides. Rear gate. We may end up having to use a few of these pieces. But probably not. I'll probably just end up going to the iron recyclers. This is a 16 foot bumper hitch horse trailer. I think it's a travel on. I can't read that. I believe this thing was bought new in about 1974, 73. Kind of a unibody design, so when we started cutting it apart, we lost some strength. So, what we're having to do is go back in, re strengthen the trailer with pieces of metal, and uh, add in as necessary. We're going to extend the floor on up to about the front here. That ball hitch will come off. We'll extend that on out to a pinnel hitch. We'll have to bring these sides on up. Then we're going to start building racks. Then we're probably going to have 20 some racks, or I should say bins would be a better term. And you can see how thin that metal is, just one by two tubing. Total unibody design. When we get done, we're going to have a mesh bend stringer trailer or a fittings trailer that we can possibly pull behind the stringer trailers. We're just trying to maximize our payload, minimize the trips of the field, just make things a lot easier and a lot more efficient once we get there. So this project will be continued. Hope to have it done here in a week or two.